Welcome, we are going to obtain the natural frequency of a simple pendulum with these properties. At first in part module, click on create part, then in the dialog box in front of name, type, mass, and then click on point and now continue. Then in front of this part, type 0, minus 0 0.0. 0, 1, 0 and then press enter then click on create part and in the dialog box in front of name type base and from this part click point then continue now in this part type 0, 0, 0 and then press enter now change the part module to the assembly module then click on instance part and in the dialog box from this part select base and mass and then click OK in order to assign a name to each point click on tools set create and in the dialog box in front of name type set mass and then click continue now click on this point and then click done in order to assign a name to the base click on tools set create in the dialog box in front of name type set base and then click continue now click on the point as the base and then click done now change the assembly module to the step module then click on Create a step in the dialog box, click on static general and then continue. Now the dialog box activate on and then click on this tab. Then in front of increment size for initial type 0 0.1 and then OK. Now click on create a step again and from the procedure type select linear perturbation and then click on frequency now click continue in the dialog box at first click value and then type 2 then deactivate this part and then ok now click on field output manager and in the dialog box click on created under step 1 and then click edit now deactivate stresses, streams, forces and contact and then OK. In order to close the window, click on dismiss. Now change the step module to the interaction module. Then click on special, inertia, create, in the dialog box, select point mass and then click continue. Now, in response to select points, to assign point mass inertia, click on sets and in the dialog box, click on set mass, then continue. Now, in the dialog box, in front of this part, type 2 kilograms and from this part, type 0 0.0002 and then click OK. Now, click on create wire feature and in the dialog box click on add and in response to select first point click on the first point and then click on the second point now click done in the dialog box click ok then click on create connector section and in the dialog box click on basic and from translational type select link and then click continue in the dialog box click ok next click on create connector assignment and from the region selection window click on wire 1 and then click continue now in the dialog box from section select the section and then click ok now change the interaction module to the load module then click on Create load in the dialog box from a step, select a step 1 and then from this part 
mechanical and from this part select gravity and then continue now in the dialog box in front of this part type minus 9.81 and then click ok now click on create boundary condition and in the dialog box from a step select initial and from this part select the first item and then continue now in the dialog box select set base and then continue then activate pinned and then ok now click on create boundary condition again and in the dialog box from this part select initial and then from this part click on displacement rotation and then continue now in the dialog box select set mass and then continue now in the dialog box activate u3 and then ok now change the load module to the job module now click on create job in the dialog box type a name for example job 1 and then click continue then in the dialog box click on memory tab and from this part for example type 100 percent and then click ok then click on job manager in the dialog box in order to start running the job click on submit and wait for completing the job as you can see it has been completed in order to open the odb file and see the results click on results now click on view odb display options and then click on entity display and then activate show connectors also activate show mass elements and then click ok now click on plot contours on and then click on apply front view now click on result a step frame in the dialog box click on mode number two as you can see the frequency is this value in hertz and the square of omega n is this value and then click apply in order to see the mode shape we can animate it so click on animate a scale factor now we are going to compare the results with the ones obtained from the vibration theory according to the vibration theory the undamped natural frequency of a simple pendulum can be found from these equations the frequency in hertz equals this value and the square of omega n is this value as you can see the results are the same 